Here we are zooming into the globular star cluster Westerland 2 in the GUM-29 H2 star forming region, 14,000 light years away. It's only 2 million years old and contains some of the most massive, hottest young stars in the Milky Way. The Hubble Space Telescope was used to conduct a three-year study of this cluster from 2016 to 2019. This study sought to investigate the properties of stars during their early evolutionary phases and to trace the evolution of their circumstellar disk environments. They found that the most massive and brightest stars in the cluster are found in the core. Westerland 2 contains at least 37 extremely massive stars, some with up to 100 solar masses. These stars do not have planet-forming circumstellar disks around them. And the study found that the stars near these giants also exist without circumstellar disks. Further from the center, they found that most of the stars do indeed have these dust cloud disks. One explanation for this situation is that the blistering ultraviolet radiation and strong stellar winds from the central stars erode the disks around neighboring stars, dispersing the giant dust clouds that one day may have formed planets. This cluster will be an excellent target for follow-up observations with the upcoming James Webb Space Telescope.